Olmstead County woman claims an investigator with the Dodge County Sheriff's Department coerced and manipulated her into having sex. And she says his supervisors let him get away with it. ABC 6 News reporter Sarah Swistak has our details. This is the complaint that was filed in U.S. District Court on Wednesday against Dodge County and more specifically against Officer Jeremy Gunderson, his two superiors, current Sheriff James Trehe and former Sheriff Gary Thompson and four other unnamed officers. In the complaint, an Olmstead County woman identified only by her initials KW alleges that Gunderson abused his power and violated her civil rights. The complaint alleges that it started with inappropriate language, escalated to inappropriate photographs, escalated to inappropriate and illegal sexual conduct. According to the complaint, the woman was arrested in 2009 for using drugs. When she bonded out of jail and was caught using again, she claims Gunderson told her he would not send her back to jail if she became a confidential informant. There's nothing wrong with that. That happens all the time. But that's a relationship that has boundaries. And when the officer crossed those boundaries, when he used the relationship for his own sexual gratification, that's where it became inappropriate. Court documents say Gunderson requested nude cell phone photos of her, which she allegedly sent three. In May of 2009, Gunderson allegedly met KW at her job at a local motel. KW says when she denied his sexual advances, he threatened to turn her drug case over to the feds, and then she complied. What happened here was basically coercion, manipulation into somebody to having sex with an officer when they didn't want to. KW later reported it to law enforcement. In the lawsuit, she claims Gunderson's bosses did not properly supervise Gunderson, failed to conduct a proper investigation, and should have fired or disciplined him. Dodge County Attorney Paul Kiltonen did not return our calls today, but in a statement to the media, he did admit that a personnel investigation was conducted by an officer out of Washington County, and he said, quote, no discipline was warranted and the file was subsequently closed. The county is now in the process of hiring an attorney. Report in Manorville. Sarah Swistak, ABC 6 News. Getz expects a response from the county within the next 21 days. His client is seeking damages of more than $100,000.